Welcome to Marriage and Life Stories with Kansime. We are bringing to you the healing power of plants today on this YouTube channel. And as we dig, it, as we dig in, as we display the healing power of plants your way, I'll kindly ask you to subscribe, to like, and to share this video if you find it helpful. Let's grow together and let's be better. I am going to ask my guest on this show today. She has an amazing garden, very unique flowers. Actually, I've not seen these flowers elsewhere in this country. It's so healing. It is so, it's like healing. That is the best word that I can, I can say. And when I talked to her, as I was thinking about the healing power of these plants, she mentioned to me the same effect these plants have had on her. Apart from making the home so beautiful, so homely, so welcoming, and so calming, she shared with me something that I will ask her to talk to you about, to share her testimonies with these plants and the effect they've had on her life. And she will also encourage you as any woman in the home, or any man, it's not only a woman's business, even men can grow flowers, right? Share with the viewers, uh, tell them your name, uh, tell them your, where you got the inspiration to have such a beautiful garden. And we will take you around and you look at these flowers. Thank you, Kansime. My name is uh, Amelia Momo Masiko. I'm a retired uh, old person. I've been into this business for now 17 years. The business of flowers. Yes, mm. I moved into this home in 2004. So that's when I started beautifying this home. It's really beautiful. Uh, from childhood, I used to love flowers. But as I grew up, I moved from my home, then started studying and I was living in an apartment. So it was difficult for me to have different varieties of flowers. Mm until I moved here in 2004. Mm -hmm. But I've had a wide range of exposure internationally. So I used to travel and I would see these beautiful flowers and I would fall in love with them. Mm -hmm. So I started getting people who were bringing them and I started collecting slowly. But now I'm importing by myself. Wow. I want to make this uh, a creation center where people will come and find different types of flowers. Mm -hmm. The major flower I'm measuring into is the orchid flower. Orchid? Yes. Orchid, that's the family name of that's the... That's the family name okay. of that flower. It's called an orchid. This this flower, right? Yes. I have seen it has a different colors. They are I've different purple, colors. The purple, there the are yellow. so many hybrids. There are over a hundred thousand species. You know they do hybridization mm. in labs, mm. so they are creating so many colors, mm. so many varieties. They are crossbreeding, mm -hmm. so every time there is a new orchid on the market. You shared with me and you told me that you would come out from there when you are tired, and you enter this home and you look at these flowers. Go there. Let, let people know why, why we need these plants, why God gave them to us. Okay, Kansime, you know from beginning, as uh, commanded by God, mm. he said, take care of my creation. Mm. That's the first commandment. Mm. So we are supposed to take care of his creation. It's not only animals, it's not only people, but mm. also plants. Mm -hmm. And God created all that for us to glorify him yes. through that creation. Enjoy them, have dominion, uh -huh. and receive the healing effect. Okay. So no wonder God put man in a garden. You know, when Adam and Eve were created, they were put in the, they garden. Were put in the garden, which yes. means there is a secret in the about garden. being in the garden. So God knew the healing power in the, in the garden, mm. the plants, be it a tree, be it a shrub, be it a herb, be it a flower, it has healing capacities. Mm. First of all, we are getting free oxygen. Uh -huh. You know, we breathe out carbon dioxide mm. and it breathe, it gives us the, 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 when we breathe the out flower carbon breathe, dioxide, it takes the to the plant breathes. and then the plant gives us the oxygen. Wow. So that's how we coexist. Mm. 
And that, we powerful. remain healthy. And they also remain healthy. Because of the clean healthy. environment, mm. free air. Actually, in uh, these European countries, they call it carbon harvest. Mm -hmm. They even pay money for people who do carbon harvest in the trees. Uh, okay. Because this f air is purifying the impurities in the air. We mm. have smoke, we have chemicals, we have fumes. They are spoiling our environment. Mm. But when you have these plants re releasing oxygen, mm. they are creating a clean environment. Okay, now we are going to stand up and you tell people about these plants that are, that are surrounding your home, a few of them. You told us that this is the biggest family of, of, of flowers, of plants that you have. This is uh, an orchid mm. and they come in different colors, different varieties. And they are in Thailand, the most people are doing hybridization. Mm. So they are creating different colors, mm. mixing different colors, mixing the hybrids so that they get different, uh, unique colors. And there are so many. At first, before, these were for loyalty because they were very, very expensive. Very, yes, but very now, unique. because... They are not common. Yes, but now they are being made in the laboratory, mm. in their greenhouses, mm. so it is becoming very popular available. and readily okay. available. But the, it's just hanging. It is an air plant. Oh my so goodness. So air plants don't have to go in the soil. They exist in the field it's just in the an air. air. Oh my yes. goodness, I've never known that. I've mm. never the the one you, you gave to Jessica, they I was same. asking mm. why when are you going to plant it? Mm. So it just hangs on this on stem. stem. How does it then feed? you just see water on the roots and the leaves. Okay. So because of our environment, it is humidic, mm. uh, what you do, you water in the morning mm. and in the evening okay. to keep them hydrated. All right. Mm. Tell us about this one. I've this seen many people use it to, to decorate. And yes, this is a fan. Mm. It's a family of fan. Mm. So like you see, this... This is a fan too? Yes. As well this, as this one? That one also is a fan. Wow. And that one also. There are different varieties mm. of fans. Mm. Now the secret of this part is, uh, you know, these are forest plants. Before they used to be in the forest. Okay. Then man started the harvesting bring them, huh? and bringing them into their homes. Mm. So we created an environment uh, imitating the forest. Oh, okay. So you find the fan, then these are the ansuriums and bromeliads. So these usually you find they them find in, in, the, in the, forest. the forest. So you're creating a forest environment, environment wow. for them to coexist and feel happy. Oh, that's they, very they beautiful. They don't feel like they've been harvested. These <laughs> are desert the, plants, right? Yes. Mm. This is called a desert rose. This is a cacti. This is a cacti. They are mainly in the desert. And these are the uh, bromeliads. So this is a rock garden. A rock garden. These are also desert plants? Most of them are found in the desert areas. Oh, okay. But also now, they are in most areas because people are imitating different environments. What's the purpose of these stones? The stone is to create beauty. Okay. Does it in any way preserve the moisture in the, lock the moisture in the underground or it's just for beauty? It's beauty, but it is also acting as a cover. Okay, locking moisture. Inside. Yes, and then also uh, avoiding the weed mm -hmm. from uh, growing so oh, much. Okay. Mm. Now I and love that yellow plant. Is that, that also? That is a crown of thorns. It's called the uh, phobia. Phobia. Mm. Phobia for fear. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's called the crown of thorns. Okay. That is also. Uh, a sunny plant. Okay. They love, you see like here, it's, it's so too beautiful. much sunny. So they love sun. Okay. Mm. And this one? That is I've never seen cactus. this type of cactus before. Mm. I'm told cactus are medicinal. There are some which are medicinal mm. and some are just uh, ornamentals. Okay. Mm. All right. Now, do you do this full-time business? selling the plants and... I don't do a lot of selling. I 
just want to encourage people mm. to create beauty yes. in their homes. And purify yes. the environment. And I also want to encourage young people to find a passion in plants so that they can have uh, life, they can live a purposeful life, they can be happy. They can avoid those destructive yes. behaviors. You know, they are busy alcoholing, uh -huh. partying, uh, drugs. Mm. So when they go into plants, they will find meaning in life. And, and, and you they just will not be uh, excited to go You into just those. reminded me about something. Sorry to interrupt you. As you were talking, when you were saying you find purpose when you have a passion. Mm. Now, when there is a purpose, you, you are having a good mental health. People who are suffering mentally, sometimes they have lost hope. There is nothing that keeps them busy. And so they get mentally depressed, you know, emotionally. But if you are waking up and looking at these plants, my goodness, your mental health is stabilized because the plants are speaking to you. They are giving you life, they are giving you energy. So I would encourage people to also have plants for good, calming, of the mental health. For meditation, yes. you know when you are meditating in the plants, you get visions, mm. you get ideas, you become creative. Mm. When you see the different colors, when you see how the plants survive the pests, when you see them surviving the drought, mm. then it also gives you hope to survive in your day-to-day -day life. Have you ever thought about uh, making oils out of these flowers? The, I haven't reached that level. I'm mm. still on the collection Collection, level. yes. Yes. Collection I, I'm on and the collection. I'm on mentoring. I uh -huh. want to mentor as many people, men, women, children. Yes. Everybody. Everybody should create a beautiful a garden. home. This one here. First of all, the weather is hot, but it is so green and so deep red. What is that plant called? What family is it from? This is a shrub. It is called bleeding hearts. Oh. Because of the colors, how they flow out. Yes, bleeding hearts. Uh, but it's so a, people the, whose relationships can, have broken, they should come. <laughs> so it can creep. If yes. you want, you can make it creep on the wall. Mm. If you want, you tame it. You, you can create any design which mm. you prefer based on your interest. So I can see you have collected it in one place? Yes. Mm. Don't you fear snakes coming through these plants? Uh, snakes usually they come because of uh, garbage. Mm. If you have garbage, Snakes are coming to look for food. You know, mm. you have rats hovering. When there's garbage, you have rats. Mm. So snakes are coming to look for rats. Mm. So if you are controlling your area and it is clean, it is clean. then you will avoid the snakes. Okay. But there are some plants which also chase uh, snakes. Yes. There is marigolds, even that geranium there. This, this, this one? Uh, that one across there. What color that is one, it? The red thing. Ah, yellow. red and green. Yeah, that's a geranium. Okay. It also chases uh, snakes. Snakes away. Mm. And uh, there is also tobacco. Mm. They all it is planted chase, in. Yes. Then there are these yes. rosemaries. All these herbs. Mm. They you keep see, snakes away. Yes, they chase away snakes. Okay. The mint. Uh -huh. Mint also chases away snakes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we, with us on this show is uh, the gentleman who takes care of, of this beautiful garden and uh, he seems so passionate about the plant as, as his uh, master as well. Tell us more about this, this particular unit here. It is well arranged and uh, like really, really, really very beautiful. Garden, mm. Garden is changing to chew a month every month. At this changing to chew a month to sunny. Next come on a stress. So he's saying that this garden is a place where someone can get so much beauty, and it gives you a lot of peace. And if you're really stressed, you just come to this garden, and you will very well relax. We clean up our pots. Mm. 
and uh, Henry is an expert in cleaning and in, uh, He's an artist, he's a, a university graduate from Chambogo, but he's employing himself. Mm. So he does uh, the varnishing and painting of the pots. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, so you see, you in gardening, you are not only enjoying the beauty, but mm. you are empowering many other people. Yes. To be purposeful and uh, to be Creating productive. Creating jobs. Yes. Mm. Look at this. That is now a bromelia. Some of them flower. They give you flowers. Mm, and yes. the flower is that so, is so beautiful. That one I mean, if someone is proposing to you and he gives you this flower, ah, <laughs> I would you say yes. <laughs> I would say yes. yes. That one also has the red a flower. one. Yes. Mm. Mm. And this is orange. That is uh, called the birds of paradise. Wow. This one, birds yes. of yeah. Yeah. birds of paradise. Mm. You create a mixture of different types of flowers mm. to bring out the beauty, the beauty yes. and the, you avoid the monotonous mm. of having the same similar. You know, mm. sometimes when you have similar things, they shouldn't get you. The eye shouldn't get used yeah, to them. Yeah, the them. eye gets bored. Mm. So you keep recreating, and then you see, I have put them in the pots. Mm. So it helps me to move them to different uh, places to different and locations. make different. Mm. So every time you come in, you think it's a new place. Yes. And uh, you also use something like this. This is a uh, vertical gardening. Mm -hmm. It helps on people who don't have uh, space. Space, yes. And you see, you have how many plants? Even here? this you can put uh, in the house, right? Yes. So it helps in uh, the presentation mm. and also space management. It was so beautiful, refreshing, and healing going through this beautiful home, looking at the different flowers and getting the inspiration that you can create something, it can grant you a lot of good mental health, it can keep your vibes high, it can take away the stress, in addition to cleaning up the air that you have. I want you to tell the young women at home, sometimes they sit and they say, oh, I don't have enough space. I have seen you do different types of gardening, vertical, horizontal, and tell them, what can someone do within their small space? Okay, my message is not only to the women, the young women. Mm. It is to everyone. All the young m men, women, young girls, young boys, they can all do this as a hobby. Mm. They can also do it as a business. Mm. For those who don't have employment, yes. you are seated in your house. You can even do too many things at a go. You yes. are doing gardening, you are also doing uh, electronics, things like that. Mm. You are occupying your time. Mm. So this is what I'm encouraging people mm. to engage in this activity. Because Number it one, can make money. Yes, it can make money. It can keep you busy. Mm -hmm. You'll be occupied, you can be creative. Mm. You know people meditate, when they are meditating, they Mental go away health. from noise. Yes. So when you have a quiet and beautiful place, it can make you become creative. Yes. You even meditate, you get to know God, you heal yourself mm. internally, emotionally, your soul gets uh, fulfilled, you, get ha you become happy, mm. and you get rid of that stress which you are getting from outside. Now, I, I want to, to ask, are you interested, now that you are really setting uh, the place like this, interested in having people come and do their photo shoots from here? Do you intend to host small birthday parties? Or do you do anything within y that direction? Yes, I can tailor make whatever a person wants. Mm. You can come for a wedding photo shoot, birthday family, I've had some people coming in mm. to do that. Or you can come if you are uh, depressed. Mm. I am a counselor, yes. I am a mentor. You can come, we sit here in the garden mm, and yes. we talk together. And the plants also talk to Yes, you. Wow. and give you hope. If you're already feeling you are giving up, you no longer want to live, mm. you can come and you talk to me. I give you hope because that's what we are meant to do. Thank you, thank you so much. It was so beautiful 
going through this home, this beautiful home and this beautiful garden with you, Momo. You are such an inspiration to so many people. And uh, keep watching uh, Family Television. And if you're on YouTube, subscribe, like, and let us grow together. And for now, we say now, goodbye.